Oh, Today we have uh, 2018 uh, Chevy Cruze. It's called 17, but it's 2018. We have the airbag light on. The airbag light comes on. Stay on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and scan it. I make a quick test before I record the video. And I can see the pretensioner is deployed, so I just want to make sure it's one or two. I see the uh, driver's side, but I did not check the passenger side, so. All right, so. Uh, it's 2018. All right, system selection. Uh, okay, so. Incredible resistant, RCI again. Okay, read fault code. Okay, oh, we have a history, history, history. So this car, it has an accident before and uh, I just uh, reset the airbag module. So when I went, when I went back to check why the, air, uh, the airbag light on, and here you go. Uh, history, history, history. All of them is a history, history. History is not current, not requested. History, current, here you go. Driver seat belt, uh, retractor pretensioner deployed, loop open. Loop open mean is an open circuit. And here you go, we have another one, driver seat. So driver seat, bre retractor, pretensioner deployed, loop open. And driver seat belt, anchor pretensioner. Okay, so the anchor is open and the pretensioner is open and passenger seat belt retractor and okay so go ahead and clear the coat and see what's what we're gonna have after that clear fault coat okay Okay, and then read the current one. So I'm not gonna have a bunch of them. So it's only three. Uh, B002, 22, 018, uh, 0015, uh, belt, driver seat belt, retractor, pretensioner. So the pretensioner, let me see if it's an anchor. Let me turn off the light first. Okay. All right, so you can see the anchor. The anchor is almost deployed. If you can see, it should be closed and a little ball coming out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. Lock this one back in. This loop, I think, it could be for the pretensioner. So let's plug it and make sure the plug is tight. Otherwise, the pretensioner is going to be right here, the driver's side, and the same thing the other side for the passenger side. All right, so back on. Come back again. All right, so now when we plug on the seat belt anchor, pretension has become a history. So from three code, if we clear this, we're gonna end up with two code, I think. All right, so clear this. All right, now we should have end up with two. All right, so yeah, so this two current and current B0022, B0015, and that's uh, the seat belt retractor pretension deployed. So this one, the, the pretension is right here, and should be right here. Take this one off. Uh -huh. All right, so 
Ja und nicht die Chick Dos. Und nicht die Chick. The socket back here. And the, the other socket. And I'm not sure if they replace, if, if they already replaced the seat belt or not. I see the seat belt is loose. So that's the uh, driver side and the passenger side for uh, seat belt retentioner. Uh, okay, so the anchor is good. And now we have the retentioner driver side and passenger side on the other side. Okay, so now what happen is uh, after when I take the, co the cover off for the seat belt, I take the plug and the plug looks okay. And it was all the way plugged in. And I place the resistor to check to make sure because this car has an accident. And what happened is uh, they replace the seat belt with a different one. So the plug, it looks the same, but it's not plugged all the way in. So after when I place the uh, resistor to check to make sure uh, the seat belt is reading or not. So that's what happened. So remember in the last uh, few minutes ago, the driver seat belt retractor retention deployed loop was uh, resistant. Now it's a history. So if we go ahead and we clear it, it's gonna clear for the driver side. So I'm thinking is, when they order the seat belt, they got the wrong one. Maybe it's not suited to the vehicle because this one is 2018. And it could be one of the, one of the bins that uh, holds the lock. It looks like it's not the same. So it's not pushed all the way in from the socket. And now we have the passenger side and I'm very 100% sure if we did the resistor check like that in the other side, it will go away. So uh, since, since we already fixed the, the driver side, I already know where the problem is. I can ask him to replace the seat belt or um, to get a different one or something. So, uh, so our work is done, and uh, even I don't have I, I don't have any fault code for the crash crash data that had been reset. I already reset it early, and uh, that's it. So it could be a uh, you know. Uh, at least you already know where is it. Is uh, after the ohm test, I already blazed the resistor. I got the driver side gone, and if we did the, the, the same way to the passenger side, so we can save the video time. Uh, you already know what uh, gonna do next. So you already know what you can do next. And uh, okay, guys, that was uh, not really a quick fix, but it's okay. Uh, maybe 15 minutes. So thank you for watching.